I always find it pretty hard in my Windows management, or rather if I have a file, let's say I have this file and I want to bring it into another application, like maybe it's a photo and I want to put in my photos application. I want to move from one folder, one finder window to the other. So I find it real quick. So like maybe I have, maybe I have something in my documents and then I want to move it into my, I want to move it into another folder. So I want to move this work folder over here. Like I would have to have two windows open and it, it, it seems easy now, but when you have so many windows open and you're trying to like get everything together, sometimes this is in the background because you have like a, a window open and just so many things going on. So this is where this little nifty app, as you can see, it's, I'm, I'm being given away, but it's called Noink. And what it does is the placeholder. So you want to grab the file, drop it, and it holds it for you. And then you can get to where you want to get to. So maybe I, I'm over here now and I want to drop that file into my document. I just pull it and it moves it to my document. But mm. only until I'm ready, it's going to continue to hold it. Maybe I want to put it back to my desktop. You're right here. And again, I can easily put it to my desktop, but we're talking when you're like, you're, you're, your screen is crazy and you're just trying to find the, the next window to get to. I've always had trouble with that. So I've always looked up for something like this and I even proactively searched for it. There was something else before and it, it ended up um, losing support and this came along. So yeah, again, like it's great. It's a placeholder. You can do whatever you need to do, move things around, have multiple windows open and it will always be at the same place for you to use at any time. And you can customize it as well, I should add. So, you may not like it. I have it set to come right here, but you may want it to, I can go to, you can change the position. So you can have it show up at the left edge, at the top, the bottom, the center. You can have it um, show up when you start to drag the window. You can have it show up right next to the file. So I can even have it not show up on the top. It can show up right next to the file. So you can customize it to what your like workflow and how you find it fit, but it's a great little app, brother. And that's like the next of the two window management apps that, that I consider this like a, a window management. So that's one of the two that I want to share. I'm going to actually just talk real quick on the other one. It's been, I still need to say the class. And the other one is called Rectangle. Now, what Rectangle is, I, one thing I've always been, Rosalind, one thing I've always been jealous of Windows is how easily you are able to like snap like the window on the side like that or on. So if you see right here, but not anymore because I can do it right now. I can snap it. I can snap it to, to the right. I can snap it to the left. I can even do it with my keyboard so I can maximize it and make it sort of move around as I see fit. I can smaller, bigger. I can use so much. And then again, I could do all that keyboard or I can even just drag it to the corners and, and have it work. So this is great when you like have two windows that you want to like work on side by side. Maybe you want to have three windows. You want to have one third, that is another third, the third quadrant. This is something that I've always been jealous of with because window users are, are that comes out the box. Like they they have uh this one is a little bit super advanced version, but windows it ha does have the whole you can pin it to the side already and, and the Mac never had that, but not anymore. This app called, there's a couple of them out there. I personally like Rectangle. Number one, it's free. And number two, I just think it, it has all the, it, it takes a little bit of all the other ones that are out there and place them to it. But another good one is called Up, which is another, that one costs money. So I would highly suggest like, Rectangle. Yeah. So that was the second of my two window management apps that I wanted to get into. Both have been lifesavers for me. Oh, that is a whole world I totally don't know about as someone who spent a lot of time in Macintosh land. That's really interesting. That's like have that little shelf app and you might just like, it's going to live over here. Yeah, no, it's, yeah, it's super helpful. And, and especially like, again, when you like doing multiple, when you have multiple things going, which we all do. And then that's when you really see it comes to play. Like right now, when I was showing you all, it's the clean screen right now, but when you have multiple things and trying to do this and that, oh, it is got them. Oh, so from Rosalind, how do I make the windows in two thirds manually or do I click a button? Yes. Actually, let me share my screen again. That's a great question. And you can't see my, um, 
what I'm doing on my fingers, but so there's a couple of ways to do it. So I was using a keyboard shortcut now, and there's also a way I believe to do it. I think there's a way to do it. Yeah. By the drag. It. So I, I, you drag it in the, like the third bottom, it'll do it Put for the one and then you do it right here. It'll make it, or if you do it on the left side, it'll, it'll do it the, the last quarter. I'm sorry. It got uh, so the quarter ingrained quarter. into you that you're like keyboard command. Boom, boom. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, you can. It, 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 there's different options. You can do it through the keyboard, or you can actually drag it certain places. I didn't even mention you can even do uh, uh, quadrants. So one quadrant, actually six. You can just move it wherever, and then to the quadrant again. I'm using keyboard shortcuts, but you can also I put it to the corner and it gives me one quarter. Put it to that corner, and then so to answer your question though, if I go into the menu options for it, where is that application? You can actually, so you can change, you could uh, pick which, how you want to do it. So it comes preset with like how you want the keyboard shortcut to be. But I personally had a, I, I changed mine around to, to one that helped me with better muscle memory. You can pick, these are all the different um, quadrants and halves and, and, and thirds. You can do it. You can even do change to the next display. So if you have two screens like me. You can even have it jump from one screen to the next screen with a, with a, with a tap. And again, you can set it to how you want it with the keyboard to do it. And again, they, they also offer dragging. The dragging, it looks like you can't customize the dragging, but you can customize like the, the button pressing on the keyboard, if that answers the question. And yes, exactly, yeah. I've actually, funny enough, I've seen a lot of um, programmers already using it. Yeah, uh, maybe not this particular one, but using some type of window management application. Yeah, it, it, programmers love these things. It allows them to like work with like multiple like applications side by side. Excuse me. But yeah, it's, uh, multiple applications side by side. But uh, yeah, it's yeah. So it's a great little nifty Windows management application. Tons. So yeah, it's called Rectangle. And there's multiple um, versions of them out. Like there's one again called Magnet. Um, there's one also called BTT. Yes, there's plenty. But Rectangle is free, so I can go with that one.